Squid rolling is a new movement technique in Splatoon 3, performed by swimming and then holding a direction other than straight forward and pressing B. When you squid roll, you gain an effect identical to ink armor from Splatoon 2, where you tank up to 30 points of damage, and if you receive damage that would have one-shot you, you survive it and are left at low HP. It's not faster than swimming, so competitive play won't be like a Zelda speedrun where you're repeatedly rolling everywhere, and in fact, it doesn't even seem to be faster than walking. But given the choice between getting on a grate with armor and without it, I'd choose armor. As long as your feet are still painted, it's great in combat for throwing off an opponent's aim, and unlike substrafing, another common technique for turning around, squid rolling gives you armor, and since it's still cancelable into firing the weapon whenever you like, it's often better for combat. Substrafing is still better for making multiple quick turns, though. Swimming up a wall used to be the most vulnerable position you could be in in Splatoon, where the only defensive option was to let go of the wall, snap 180 degrees behind you, and return fire as you fall predictably to the ground. Now you can just squid roll off, giving you armor frames and forcing your opponent to adjust their aim more. In this same position, the squid roll is also really useful for poking safely over that ledge with damage like bombs, blaster shots, slosher shots, that sort of thing. Oh! 